he got so frustrated, <laughs> like, uh, on one attempt, he tried so many times that he, like, he had to stop because he was running out of time. Nah. I don't know why those time limits are there anyway. I mean, when it was an arcade game, of course there's a point. The point is to to uh, stop people from just taking too long. But when it's not an arcade game, I mean, I guess there is the the point of giving a play the player a bigger bonus for finishing or players a bigger bonus for finishing the level more quickly. But the aspect of like, you know, you're dead if you if you don't do it within that time. That's just annoying. Okay, there are two in booster pass. Boosters pass. Booster. Okay, booster pass. Okay, first section of the left of the entrance and climb the hill. on top of one of these things. Oh, I got that one already. So there's another one in here. Next to the exit to the top. Go to the left corner, then turn around. I know this isn't that exciting, but you know, I do like to get lots of goodies when I play these games. Hmm, huh. you know what? It seems like I'm getting flowers when I beat enemies more often than usual. Maybe it has to do with... It has something to do with the fact that I'm a much higher level. Okay, is it here? Not descriptions are not very precise. Left corner. Next to the exit at the top, go to the left corner. Okay, what is the exit at the top? Oh wait, would this be the exit at the top? Okay, that must be the exit at the top. Okay, there's some rock candy that just does a bunch of damage. It's better than a firebomb, so I'll get rid of that. Okay, not surprisingly, there are lots of items in Booster Tower boosters. You know what? This apostrophe S thing. Okay, that's helpful. None of them have the apostrophe S. Before I go there, I'm going to see how many hidden items there are left total. So yeah, I am going to start the final area after this because, um, Doing that will allow me to get some of the leveling done anyway. Fifteen left, that means I've found twenty-four. Of course I had the guide's help for a lot of them, but still, that's more than I thought. Okay, now to Booster Tower.
Well, this signal ring is handy because it lets me know when I need to look at the guide and when I don't. Except when there are branching paths. Okay. Well, here it can be... I'll know when I... You know, these squares are... Clearly laid out on the floor, so... Should be pretty easy to search everywhere. Of course, the infinitely respawning enemies don't help. Okay, instead of counting up, I'll just count down, since I know that now I have 15 left. Of course, there's that one that I'll never be able to get. At least I'm pretty sure I won't. By the way, I'm pretty sure there's no special reward for getting them all, other than just the individual rewards in the item boxes. Four damage, jeez. Uh, farting water bottle again mention that last session. There we go. Is there something back? I guess I already got whatever was back there. And if I didn't, I don't really care. So, 14 left. Interesting how the middle one is the default target. You think it would be either the one in front or the one in back. Okay, good. Nothing in there. I was worried there might be one that you have to get by doing some precise jumping or falling thing. Excuse me. Oh, you. So he'll give you crappy items you get it right. Um, if you get it right a certain number of times, you can get access to a secret area of the of the map called Great Guy's Casino. Um, it's not really that great, no pun intended. Um, but uh, I may show it anyway, especially considering that I personally have never gotten to it. Okay, where is this next hidden box? Okay, I didn't pass it. A section after the seesaw thwomps. Alright, here. Bottom left corner. All right. Why can't I get on top of that? Wait a minute. I, there's a an item box I never got. That's weird. Did I not notice it? Well, not like I really needed that, but. I'll take it. Especially since there's a good chance I won't be back here again. Now if I could just make that stupid jump. And of course I pay the price. Not that this is a particularly difficult battle, 
but in terms of wasted time. Mine and possibly yours. Although if you're watching this video, then presumably you don't consider it a waste of your time. I, I always think about cutting this stuff out, and then I, but it's really a pain to synchronize it every time. I mean, it was easier when I was just recording from my webcam. I could cut something out very simply. Okay, this is something I, I wasn't expecting to see a whole lot during this, but I guess every now and then. get here with a minimal bit. That really made me jump. I, I startle easily, personally. And they have to take up more time with their long attack animations. We have to take up more time by missing them. Okay, the next two it looks like are not until the top. I should be pretty close to the top, though. Oh, so if I... I'm not sure if I explained it fully, but the Knife Guys game, if you win it a bunch of times, He'll give you what you need, or one of the things you need to get into the Great Guy's Casino. Okay. Okay, there's one on top of the... Okay, on top of... The other treasure chest, the one that I'm trying to jump on. Okay, yes, there is one here I haven't gotten. And I probably have stopped counting down already. Goodie bag. Packed full of coins. I guess I can't use it. What is it good for then? Thought I'd just use it and it would give me a bunch of coins. Okay, I think that last block was the... Yeah, okay, I already got the other one. Now, if the game's nice, it'll let me just jump out. Oh, right, this scene. I'm glad I <laughs> did that. What do you know? <laughs> I guess Booster does have some kind of, you know, social consciousness. Either that or Valentina is just very strange. Alright, well, going down shouldn't take long. If I can avoid battles. You know what? Nothing saying I can't just run away. Okay, something saying I can't just run away. Uh, I hate this room. They'll probably say I can't run. I guess it's probably the speed stat that determines whether you run away successfully. 
or how often you do. Okay, so damage hut so far is 486. I'm probably not going to get above that because I'm going to keep fighting higher level enemies as I'm going forward on the map. Stop missing that. Please get through this room, thank you. Okay, I like the rooms where I can just fall. I don't know how many times you have to win that game, but it's a bunch. There are a couple of side quests in this game that just seem to require completely pointless amounts of doing the same thing over and over again. Yes, please waste your turn. Anyway, one of the reasons why I hadn't played, why I didn't play New Super Mario Bros. Wii for a while, because there was another game that I was playing for a while, um, game that I had tried to finish a couple of times and didn't, and then I finally did finish it this year, like a couple weeks ago. Okay. spend the night in a regular room in the Mary Moore Hotel. Watch me already have gotten this one. Yes, it appears that I did already get this one. You know what I just realized? I can position the windows so that I can see the guide and the game screen at the same time. Why I didn't realize this before, I don't know. Yeah, so I'm not going to say what the name of that other game was that I was playing before New Super Mario Bros. Wii because... I may... I may play it for my channel sometime soon. Okay, since I already lost count. Only 12 to go. 11 of which I will actually get. I think it was kind of a dick move having a couple that you that you can only get at one point in the game. Okay, land's end. Wait, it, oh, pff, stuck me at the other end. Okay, this is not where I wanted to start. Because then I have to go through this whole maze. Okay, I'm just going to scale the cliff again, and then... See if I can't get in from the other side. Not going to try to take any shortcuts here. I'm not going to try any more to take shortcuts because I just want to get through this. Well, it looks like you don't even have to jump. There's not much. OK, 
Okay, maybe if I go to Seaside Town, then to Land's End, it'll put me where I'd want. Okay, good. help if you actually jumped when I said to jump. And it would help if I didn't fall off the platform. Again, this guide does not tell me at what point to jump, because I imagine that could be relevant. Of course, it's not the guide's fault that I'm not actually jumping when I should be, and instead I'm just falling. Okay, too far. It says that there should be one right here. No, uh, why can't I ever always have to do things the hard way, don't I? And now I can't even get on the platform anymore. Oh, come on! Just let me on the... Oh, wait, I can do it from there. Except the slightest misstep and I fall off. 